So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to learn how to create a photo calendar. So the first thing we need to do is to open Microsoft Word. And when Microsoft Word opens, we want to find the template for the calendars. So we go to File and New. And on the right hand side here, it offers us all the different types of new things that we might want to do. Well, the calendar wizard is offered here and we'd like to do make a new calendar. So I click on that. It offers me the calendar wizard. What do we want to do? We go to next. What type of calendar do we want? The boxes and borders, the banner or the jazzy? Well, I'm quite happy with the boxes and borders, so I'll go next. Do I want my calendar to be in portrait or to be in landscape? I'd like it to be in portrait. And do we want to leave room for a picture? We definitely do because this is a photo calendar that we're making. So we go next. It asks us, how long do we want this calendar to run from? March 2008 to March 2009. That would be fine, a full year calendar. Fine, and we go next to that. And then it says we're finished, so we go finish. It now gives us a preview of what the calendar is going to look like. Now, we want to be able to see the full page on this, so we go to the zoom toolbar, and we drop it down, and we go to whole page. And now we can see the whole page. So the pictures that we're going to put in, the photos that we're going to put in, are, have to be of this shape here. This, this type of shape here. So now what I'm going to do is going to source some pictures. Now the calendar that I'm going to make is going to be based on the animal, the tiger. So I want to get pictures of tigers which are this kind of shape to put in above. So I go and I start Internet Explorer. I go to Images and I'm going to type in Tigers and I press enter. And there are some lovely pictures of tigers. Now because we're going to be printing this, we want to be sure that the size of the image that we're getting is good. So we're going to go for large images. And here are some lovely pictures of tigers. So here's my first picture. So I'm going to open this up in full size. And when it has come in in full size, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save the picture. And I'm going to drop down the window here until I can find my documents and then I'm going to go to my pictures and in my pictures I'm going to create a new folder and this folder is going to be for the Tigers project. So up here it offers me the new, create a new folder shortcut so I press that and it makes me a new folder here and I'm going to call it Tigers Calendar. I should spell it correctly. T Tigers calendar and I go open there and I'm going to save the first picture in there. So there it is saved. Now I go back to the Google search and I'm going to look for another nice picture of calendars and I keep searching through here until I find a nice one. Okay, don't like any of those so I go to next. There's an excellent picture of Tiger, so I click on that, click again to see the full size, size image. Page can't be found for some reason, see the full size image, page can't be found. Okay, so I won't be able to use that picture. I'll try this one. See the full size image, and there it is. And again, I right click, save the picture as, it's saved, I'm going to save it in the Tiger's calendar, save, and so on. Now you can repeat this a hundred times over, so I'm finished now with that. Now I want to insert the picture into my document here. So I click where the picture is going to go and I go insert picture from file. Now it offers me the my picture so I need to navigate down here again to my documents and in the my documents I keep scrolling till I find my pictures where I put it. So I keep going down here until I find my pictures and in my pictures I have the tigers calendar folder and I'm going to take the first picture that I found and insert it in there. And so there's a lovely picture now of my tigers looking very, very well. I can go on to the next page. And here's the spot where I want it to go. Click in there, insert picture from file. And I'll go for the Siberian tigers this time and they come in again beautifully. Now, it, you may notice that the picture has is missing a little piece on the bottom. And that's because the picture itself is actually the wrong shape. So if I click on the picture, I can resize it to get it all to fit in. 
and then I could put it in the center, and there would be my picture. And I could do the same up on the top. I can click on the whole picture. I can resize it, center it, and there would be my picture. Now I could stretch it if I wanted to, and distort it, and you'd see it, it would fit completely into the spot available for it. And there I have it. Now, so there's my picture of the tigers on March, and then I can go for April, and I could go down to May, insert more pictures here, and continue on until I have a beautiful photo calendar created, ready for printing.